The Deutsches Stadion was a massive stadium planned by Nazi Germany that originally broke ground in 1937. Adolf Hitler's personal architect, Albert Speer, designed it and it was to be on the Nazi party rally grounds in Nuremberg, Nazi Germany. Now guys, this thing is really cool, I'm not gonna lie. The backstory to a video like this is, really, I only studied three things in school. Political science, World War II, and 9-11. So I know just a weird amount of facts about World War II. This stadium is absolutely crazy. The one thing you have to realize with the Nazis is they didn't want to have the biggest. They wanted to have the biggest times 10. It's like building a skyscraper like 10 times the size of the Burj Khalifa or whatever it's called, the biggest current skyscraper. All I did was search the biggest capacity of a stadium in 2021, and it's in North Korea, which is funny, but it's 150K. Okay, this stadium that Adolf Hitler and Nazi Germany planned had a capacity of 405 thousand people and you look at how the stadium is built it's basically stat you know layers of stands stacked on top of each other and i found this uh, little clip it here from wikipedia by the way i love wikipedia i think it's a great site um albert spear was talking about how much it would cost to build this it's just crazy hitler merely retorted it would cost less than two battleships of the bismarck class the nazis loved building these major projects now take a look at this map you can see the uh, deutsches stadion Number seven there, look how massive of a, of a structure that is. It's just, it's it's absolutely absurd. Um, this was actually a map of Nuremberg that the Nazis had planned before the start of World War II. Obviously it was never built. They broke ground in 1937. Although there was a really interesting thing that I found. They had a prototype. And the reason they had a prototype, as you can see pictures here, you can see two different grandstands being built. Basically a mock of the Deutsches Stadion. And you can see, if you can tell, they're, they're actually at two different uh, angles of degree. One is more kind of, you know, steep. The other is a little bit less steep. And the reason they did that, you know, they didn't have, uh, you know, big computers to, you know, figure out, you know, the sight lines back then. So they actually built two prototypes with two different degree angles. Um on a hill near Germany, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and they just wanted to see, you know, on the top rows, which would be better for a sight line? Would it be better to build it more steep so that, you know, the people on the top could see better, they'd be a little bit more closer if it's steeper, or would it be better to kind of slant it a little left, not have that level of degree? Um, and there's actually a picture of Hitler and Albert Speer, as you can see. Albert Speer, he's a, he was a weird dude, but he was a hell of an architect, no doubt. And they're actually at the test construction site and right, you can, I, I believe there's actually photos of the construction sites uh, c current day. Now apparently all the wood was removed from the test grandstands and as you can see those look like concrete slabs that remain. All the wood over top of them has been removed. That's what's left. Now these are some interesting photos I actually found of the Deutsches Stadion on a site, I think it's called the Third Reich Ruins, which, you know, Nazi Germany ruins. Um, this was actually 1937 when they were laying the groundwork and they broke ground on it with Adolf Hitler right there. That's, I think, the current day state of it, or maybe that is right there. That's just crazy, man. I know it's a massive difference, 1937 to 2021, but, or whenever this picture was taken, you know, this picture right here, and now it's just woods. That's crazy, but it looks like uh, this photo was taken on September 9th, 1937, when they broke ground on it. And this is just absurd. Now, I really wish they could get these photos restored to HD. Like, look at this. There's Hitler with the stadium, a model of the stadium. That's a huge model, too, isn't it? I would look. I wonder where that model went. It's a crazy model. There it is right there. Unfortunately, the stadium is just, or unfortunately, the photos are just not HD. There's more mocks of the stadium. There's that Roman architecture that they loved in Nazi Germany. There's more mocks of the stadium, as you can see. It's just like an Olympic Stadium. It's just massive. It absolutely massive. There's another photo of it, uh, kind of an you know from the sky. There are some blueprints for the Deutsches Stadion, and there is a real nice mock version of the stadium right there. Now this photo is actually really interesting. This is the only photo. Now obviously we saw the test site photos. The only uh, photo of the actual construction site. They dug out an area. I don't know if they poured concrete or not. But as you can see, this oval, this U-shaped uh, thing right here is the Do the Deutsches Stadion's foundation, and it obviously got stopped in 1941 with the start of World War II. There were a few other Nazis built Nazi buildings that I want to talk about that 
got stopped during the start of World War II. That's just a massive area, isn't it? This is the only, and it was, t you know, the, the photo was actually taken by the U.S. Air Force on September 10th. This was 1944 at the time, so obviously the construction was stalled for three or four years. I believe it stopped in 1941. But it is definitely a crazy thing. That's all the photos they have for it. I think I have some a few other photos that I can share. Really crazy. Another crazy thing that I want to talk about that uh, really surprised me when I saw it. Because I used to study World War II. And I always saw this building. And it always looked so weird to me. And it was like, what is this Nazi you know, architecture? Um, this is actually their Congress Hall. As you can see on the map, th this would be, I think, number five. Um, and this, would, you take a look at photos of this, just look at this thing, look how weird it looks. Doesn't this look weird? The, it's basically the equivalent to building a Lego set halfway and then stopping. So this uh, Congress hall that the Nazis were building basically got halted midway through the construction. So you can see like a lot of different things look out of place. It looks really like a lot of like those beams and things, they, ju they just look random. The construction on this was stopped halfway through it and it, I think there's a few photos of the scaffolding around it um, this was supposed to be their congress hall really interesting thing there's some mock photos of the what it would look like if it was completed obviously I believe all of Nazi Germany construction on major projects stopped in 1941 with the start of World War II as did you know Soviet Union projects things like that Palace of the Soviets whatever but to me that is a a crazy looking thing and it's still around today it really is uh you can visit it today i believe it's obviously in nuremberg germany uh which was where all of their rally grounds were supposed to be so this is just some crazy nazi architecture but it is still interesting to see some of these mega structures i mean four hundred and five thousand in 1937 they planned that the current biggest stadium in 2021 seats 150k like I, like, I mean, what's the purpose of having a stadium that seats that much? But that, they just wanted everything huge, you know? It's it's it, it's a real interesting thing to think about. But guys, I just thought this would be an interesting video. Uh, very cool stuff, at least I think it is. Guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.